Okay, so now we're going to have a look at pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation is a handy way to make a single oscillator sound very rich. It only applies to pulse waves ordinarily, but on some synths such as Albino, you can vary the pulse width of other waves, in particular the saw wave. But generally speaking, pulse width applies only to pulse waves. Now, let's have a quick look at a square wave again, a pulse wave with 50%. On our oscilloscope, it looks like that. And as you can see, the pulse is 50% up and 50% down over the zero line. And the zero line is the horizontal line in the middle here. Uh, so that's zero. Okay, so the width of the pulse is 50%. If we now vary the width of the pulse... You can see that, for example, there it's 10% or 5%. And there it's about 25%. That's a 25% pulse width. You sometimes see that on synths. 50% uh, width, 75%, 25% pulse. Pulse width modulation, PWM for short, is this business. So you have the same single oscillator, but it's varying. It's a sound you hear on old uh, vintage synths, uh, particularly old analogs. It was a good way to uh, create uh, rich kind of sounding string patches and pads and such like. It's also really good for creating movement inside uh, lead sounds. At the moment I have a, a knob on my MIDI controller which is controlling that pulse width. Um, as you can see, on, on the, in Albino they call it symmetry, symmetry of the wave. Um, now, of course, you don't necessarily want to be moving a knob while you're uh, playing. So in order to facilitate that, we can use other modulators. So, for example, LFO. This is one way that we can put, create an automatic uh, movement of the pulse width. So let's take our pulse width and take LFO1 in the modulation matrix here. Um, go to oscillator 1, symmetry, they call it in Albino and set a positive amount, and now you can hear that's still a single oscillator, but much richer sounding, um, and has movement internally in the waveform. Often good lead sounds are, as I've explained before, in fact they all, almost always are, a mixture of lots of little tweaks, uh, which kind of all adds up to give the final result. So, if we turn that LFO speed up, you can hear that uh, you can get all kinds of interesting sounds. Uh, so that's one way to vary the uh, pulse width. Another way is by using a, um, an envelope. So in this case, let's turn that to zero um, and let's choose filter one envelope. We'll use that to modulate the width of the pulse. So we're back to the square wave again, as you can see. Uh, and we'll use this envelope, patch it to symmetry again. Give it some positive value now. If I go to filter one, you can hear that if I turn the mono switch off, it'll help. So now, so you have a much richer and fatter sound. And that's the envelope adjusting the pulse width. Now, let's put a sequence on so you can hear how that sounds. It's just a rhythmic sequence. Um, that's with pulse width. Let's turn that off. So, there's your, there's your normal wave. More static sounding. Um, put a pulse width on it. And now a bit of an envelope business. 
uh, filter business, I mean. Pretty delight. sound. Let's just take the pulse with mod off for a second. As you can hear, more of a static sound. particularly nice. I, I like that. So, I'm going to adjust the LFO speed. As you can hear, it's a very rich sound, just from a single oscillator. This is before we get into anything stereo or multi-oscillator. Again, I'll just switch back to the straight wave. Switch up an octave again. So it's static. Which also has its merits. Okay, so how does that apply to... Uh, a higher part. Let's have a listen. Here's something I made earlier. Now that's just with the straight square wave. Uh, and here's adding some pulse width with an LFO. So it has, if you listen carefully, it has some movement inside the wave. Definitely adds some appeal. <laughs> Move the LFO speed a bit slower. from the envelope to the pulse width. See, the whole thing is moving a bit better. Now some filtering. This also has a little bit of um, portamento on it. So I'll switch back to the straight wave, which is a whole lot less interesting in my view. Right, let's have a little look at uh, how to set up pulse width in Vanguard. <laughs> 